My name's Johnny. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Joker fam? It's your boy, Haha ha Joker, aka the Black Joker, back out again. Another bad video for you guys. And today, as you guys can see from our top three, we got a big time new addition to No Fly Zone. More so of an upgrade since he's already had cards in the game. But we ended up picking up Justin Reed LTD. And as you guys know, since from his, I forgot what promo it was, but he gets all AFC team chems. So obviously the Raider chem on him and obviously he's part of No Fly Zone. So we're gonna go ahead, jump into his stats. And of course, give you guys gameplay. Now Joker fam, stat wise, Justin Reed comes in at six foot one, 97 speed, 97 acceleration, 86 tackle, 93 play rec, 95 pursuit, 96 man coverage, 99 zone coverage, with a 94 hit power. Now, obviously, we are comparing him to, sadly enough, his replacement, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, once again, played very well. I used him a good amount of the times for specific reasons, but I used him quite a bit. Bo Jackson, still a very good user, still a very good player. Even from his stats, as you guys can see now, even without the Raider Kim boost and stuff like that, he's still a beast of a player. But at the end of the day, Justin Reed is just better. Now, Joker fam, as far as the abilities that we are going to be rocking on Justin Reed, it's just going to be zero AP pick artists. He will be playing in the box with Ted Hendricks and Ronnie Lott. But this is what No Fly Zone is looking like as a whole. Feel free to go ahead and pause the video. Um, you guys can check out the upgrades from there. And offensively, this is what we're rocking too. Now, we did make two big time changes to our old lineman. We obviously picked up Andrew Thomas as our left tackle, zero AP identifier with one AP. 1AP Secure Protector, there we go. And we have Ryan Jensen, AKA Red Tornado. Didn't even know that was his nickname, but hey, he's on the team with zero AP, I believe it's zero AP post up. So yes, post up is for zero AP on him. And this is what the rest of the team is looking like. As you guys know, feel free to go ahead and pause the video if necessary. And I had somebody also ask me about my Stry Adams too. So this is what we're rocking with as far as the Stry Adams. We have let it rip with, um, I don't know if it could show. I think it shows over here. But as you guys can see, these um, legendary items do have secondary kind of like abilities to them to help boost your team's stats. So Ball Hawk is obviously tier one, but it has lock on it. So lock is on let it rip. So what lock is, is just pretty much plus one on man coverage for all all cornerbacks so that's cool it is what it is but ball hawk has plus two sprinter on it which gives you plus one acceleration on halfbacks receivers and quarterbacks this is the ball hawk that we have it has the secondary kim sprinter and let it rip has a secondary kim lock so just giving you guys a heads up on that but either way joker fam new big time addition to no fly zone man honestly no fly zone has been playing absolutely crazy we keep getting big time upgrades so having justin reed on the team honestly we should be able to lock up no problem but let's find out how our new addition plays with the team all right see y'all boys in there all right joker fam so we found ourselves a game got our champs champ bailey jason verrett and cj gardner johnson and there go our raider boys right there so let's go ahead and get into it all right joker fam so starting out on no fly zone exactly where we want to be let's see if we can go ahead and lock up on our first first play take that so once again since he's replacing bo jackson we are going to be playing man coverage with him i mean playing um playing him as our user man coverage with him so um Anything that um, we do as far as abilities go, it's all done for the uh, CP. Hot Let's go! Ooh, so it, baby. But anyway, Joker fam, third and long, man. Like I was saying, um, the CPU has deep route knockout on, so I don't want to use her that. And that's why ah! I use her Justin Reed. Got him! Let's get it. Let me get six. Me, me. Let me get six. Let me get six. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right back on no fly zone, baby. Let's get it. Come on, we need it. All right, so keep getting interrupted, man. Oh, I'm losing my train of thought. But uh, Justin Reed is my user because AP-wise, he doesn't get deep route for sh Ooh. Get to him. He broke. Chad Ocho Cinco broke that? All right, Jerry Vamp. So we're on offense, man. As I was saying, AP-wise, Justin Reed does not get deep route knockout for cheap. So since he doesn't we're going to keep it on the players that are in our box and they can go ahead and have the cpu user them and that's it now if he did get it for cheap then obviously he i wouldn't use her 
I was just let the CPU do whatever and get knockouts and yada yada yada. Alright, Joe Fan. So we're in a third and ten now. Let's go ahead and continue doing what we're doing. Lock this dude up. Got a feeling he's gonna hit something over the middle. That's picked. Stupid. Ran into everything. <laughs> he just got bumped and just ran into everything, bro. Give me that. Knew it. I knew he was gonna dive down on the uh on the wheel route. I knew it. I knew it off rip. Come on. GG, get him out of here, bro. Let's go, bro. All right, Triple Fam. So, found ourselves another game, man. They're going Raider Boys range. There. And we got ourselves Ro Revis, Champ Bailey, and Keith Byers. Okay. So, let's see what they got. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I see somebody. Yup. I'm out of there. Come on. Easy. Easy. All right, Joker fam. So on no fly zone. Let's see what we got. Um, uh, I don't think uh, we should be all right here. Yeah, yeah, we all that. See if that was accurate. Okay, that's all right. I like it. I like it. Oh, I couldn't get back there. In no, I couldn't get back there in time. That's on me. Let's see what we got here. Might have a dot here. Maybe. Maybe. Yes, sir. Easy. Let's get it. <clears throat> Alright, Joker fam. Back on no fly zone. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we don't make that mental mistake. Hopefully the rest of this game. Because I, I should have had a pick and just didn't commit. And that's on me. Alright, Joker fam. So got ourselves a third and ten. Once again, goal. Just do what we gotta do. I might be on that. Oh, he threw it. He threw it somewhere else. Okay. Give me that. The nut. Thank you. Charles Woodson. Need it, baby. Come on. Give me that. You can't touch this. Let's go! Go Walter! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Let's go! Easy money. Come on, dog. <laughs> Give me that! I'm out of here. Get him out! Come on, man. Lock it up. Alright, Joker fam. So, that's gonna be in the game plan, man. Hey, just how I like it, bro. Too, too quick in and out. I'm I'm good. I'm happy with it. Yo, no fly zone locked up. We got picks. We we put up numbers. Pick sixes at that. Justin Reed, I messed up. I know. I know. I had a chance to get a user pick for the gameplay, and I messed it up. All right. But as far as the user goes with him, right? It's very good. All right. I like how the user feels with him. Things of that nature. With Bo, though, I would say that the I guess the biggest difference between the two. Again, there's nothing wrong with Bo Jackson. All right, if you guys still have Bo Jackson, because Justin Reed is still kind of expensive, even though he's in the rerolls, he is still very expensive. All right, he's like 800, 700, I think he's like 700, 600K, something like that. Bo is still a good user, right? It's just Justin Reed has just a little bit more like man coverage if you want to have the cpu use him in man coverage he has a little bit more well not a little bit more he has a lot more better zone coverage so if you guys were matched things of that nature he's good with that too now again they both have zero ap pick artists so there's no difference with that but when it comes to the usering i don't know what it is if it's change of direction or whether the case is but justin reed just kind of he kind of glides better you know what i'm saying like all his movements kind of he doesn't like like when you change directions with Bo for some reason, he sometimes like he'll he'll like plant hard and take a little bit while to like get out of it. But like with Justin Reed, he kind of just like he doesn't stop. Even though if you change directions, it's like all in one motion. Like it doesn't slow down whatsoever. I would say that's the biggest difference for me between Justin Reed and Bo Jackson. But Joker fam, you guys let me know in the comment section below. Would you guys pick up Justin Reed? And if so, what abilities would you rock on him? Would you guys go with more so of the zone abilities that he has on him or would you guys just keep it as zero ap pick artist 
and user him or put him in a box or play him over top what would you guys do because he he definitely is a must pick up with, with, without a doubt but is he a must pick up now for you guys let me know in the comment section below me personally i think you guys should wait a little bit till his price comes down especially if you still have ronnie lott ted hendrix bo jackson in your box and things of that nature you guys definitely could afford to just wait a little bit but you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below but joker family if you guys enjoyed this video man if you guys enjoyed that gameplay make sure you guys drop some laughs on that like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel man we're on the road to 10k make sure you guys hit that sub button three and it takes one second with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next one all right peace